The vast majority of back injuries are preventable. However, many back problems are not the result of injury, but are the result of degeneration of the discs. Aging of the spinal disc material causes the most trouble and can cause extreme pain. What this means is that over the years, these delicate discs become worn and damaged. Think of all the times you lifted improperly, how you bent your back, or twisted your back. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that if you abuse something, no matter how wonderfully it's constructed, it'll wear out. The more abuse it takes, the faster it'll wear out. You've all heard the warnings about bending your legs and not your back. That's good advice, because when you bend your legs, you're keeping those discs in their natural curvature. This natural curvature allows the disc to spread evenly across your vertebra, which means that pressure on the disc is applied evenly across the entire surface of the disc, and not just in one part of the disc. Let's take a quick look at some of the basic principles of how your back works. The back is a delicate and complex part of your body. The spine has a spinal cord running down the inside of your vertebra, or bones which connect the nerves. The bones are separated by discs. Now each disc is a circular pad filled with a liquid under pressure. The disc looks like a soft hockey puck with jelly on the inside. The disc works like shock absorbers or springs, making the back flexible, but not allowing the bones to hit one another or pinch those nerves. Now what this all means is that the discs are very important in maintaining a healthy back. If you bend over like this, you're pinching those discs on one side, which means a tremendous amount of pressure is applied to a small portion of the disc and eventually the disc will become damaged. When this occurs, surgery may be necessary.